All right, so it is days like these that make all the windy hot days totally worth it because today it is like, I don't know, probably 85, sunny with just a little bit of a breeze and I'm at our field. Oh, you guys, oh, you guys, just look at it. Look at this green, my goodness, it's gorgeous. So I'm standing in, there's the dividing line between the test plot and the commercial corn. And you can really tell, look at the difference in size and color between the two. My goodness, it's so pretty, so pretty. All right, so you are propped up on a corn plant right now. <laughs> Here's a little perspective for how tall the corn is. So it's like right, right above my hip. All right, so I don't know if you've ever laid down in the middle of a corn row, but seriously, it's like one of the most peaceful things ever. It's gorgeous. I could honestly lay here for like days. It's quiet and there's no wind. Kind of shaded, but a little bit of sun, it's warm. Yeah, this is this is the life right here. But I think dad needs me. Honestly, don't lose the glasses. Unfortunately, I don't think I can stay here. Come back later to rest. Take a little nap. Feels looking great, you guys. All right, so I'm at our field and I wanted to do just a tiny little bit of explaining for you guys. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I'm looking at, okay? And I'm gonna answer a lot of questions that I've been receiving in the comments. All right, so from the road, as you're driving by looking at a cornfield, it can look like the farmer came out and just kinda sprinkled some seeds everywhere in really no particular fashion. However, when you get closer here, gotta walk through the end rows, um, everything is actually planted in really straight lines. So that's why I was using the GPS earlier in the season when I was planting. Can you see? There's a row, there's a row, there's a row. We actually plant the corn. Gotta go a little bit farther in here. We plant the corn with 30 inches of space between each plant, this way and this way. So when I'm going through and like cultivating or disking, or fertilizing or something like that, I am not running over a lot of corn. I, it's a perfect amount of space for the tire to go through. So, you know, a tractor's pretty big. So like one tire will be right here and then the other tire will be over in like this row. So don't worry, as we go over the field, we're just driving in the row. We're not actually driving over corn. It's still early enough in the morning that the corn has dew on it, so my legs get all wet from walking through the field. All right, so I don't know if you recognize this spot, but this is actually where I filmed my YouTube introduction video. And I just wanted to take a quick note, I'm starting this pivot, um, but I just wanted to make a quick note and say, when I filmed my introduction video, never did I think we would be where we are today. So I just think that's really cool. The corn has grown taller, subscriber count has grown, and I have like a YouTube family to share all my fun experiences with. I don't know, I just think it's super cool. Anyways, so I'm starting this pivot, um, and of course putting my hair up so it doesn't get caught in the PTO shaft. Um, uh, Earplugs in, because you guys know how much I love protecting my hearing. I won't be able to hear myself talk. Um, anyways. So yeah, I'm starting this pivot um, and I thought it'd be cool to share with you guys that we have different like names for our all of our fields. Um, so like right now I'm starting the pivot on ads 80. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. And then um, our field is part is ads 80 and then Kenny's, but I just call it our field because you know, it's ours. Um, and then we have like South pivot, West pivot, bottom pivot, the ranch pivot. Crowders. I don't know. I just think it's kind of interesting that we have all these different names. East Drip, Mary Jane. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to start this pivot. Um, it's nice to be outside. I've been doing a lot of like office type work. I've been working on my class because I am taking online classes this summer. 
Um, and then I've also been working on getting approved for an operating note because I don't have the kind of capital goal, the kind of capital investment that it takes to start farming. So I'm working on getting that approved and hopefully that all goes through this week. Um, I'm working with a great guy over at the FSA office to help me with that. Uh, but anyways, I just love being outside. Working outside is more fun than working on more of the office stuff. So I'm going to get this boat started. So here's the pivot on the north end of our field that uh, needs to be taken out. But underneath it, we have a ton of milkweed blooming. And pretty soon we're gonna be seeing a lot of butterflies around here, which is awesome. I love seeing that. All right, so I wanted to show you guys how much has dried up of our field. So if you remember a couple of videos ago, all of this was water, all of it. We had a lake, a nice little beach, uh, so now the water is back in the pond, uh, which we're probably going to fill in uh, this fall. Um, but the replant is looking really good. If you look kind of across the field, you can see green starting to come up. Uh, where We had such a nice neighbor come and help me replant. Um, Dad put in a little bit of beans right here. Those were later. And then all that is corn right there. Looking good. Need to get these logs out of here. I wish I could share with you guys what it smelled like out here, which I know sounds kind of weird to say, but it smells like after it just rains, you know, like that really cool smell mixed with like a little bit of like cool dirt. Um, and then there's a little bit of a breeze, but it's kind of warm outside and it just smells like green and blue. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's just refreshing and like, I don't know. So I'm calming which i don't know that sounds weird maybe this is weird i don't know it smells really good out here i wish you guys could know what it smells like <laughs> i hope you guys don't think that's totally creepy all right you guys i drove so fast that i could show you um oh man i'm too far away anyways these planes fly so low to the ground this was like the, one of the great joys of my childhood was watching spray planes over fields oh man I'll try and get a little bit closer all right you guys I got closer I don't know if you can see here we go there he is spraying he's coming right towards us look at how low compared to the pivot he is I mean look at this this is just gives me goosebumps so cool Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that guy has a cool job. Wow. Look at him. Ready? I mean, he is below the pivot spraying. Are you kidding me? Oh, as a kid, he used to fly really low over our house. So, so cool. Just going up and back and up and back. I mean, you think driving a tractor is cool? Or a big sprayer? No, this, this is cool.
There he goes, flying back home. Refill. Man. I drove so fast to try and catch him. Got like tears coming out of my eyes. That was so cool. So worth it. Love the spray plants. All right, so if you watch the live, you will notice that this is the same people we had out doing our well work today. Hi, Grant. Here's a little update on the truck. Grant, what condition is she in? Uh, moderate. Moderate. We have to air up the tire before we drive it anywhere, and there's zero exhaust, so it's, uh, so, uh wear earplugs. And we have a, Grant accidentally lost a gas cap, so got a new one. Thank you to Ian Davis. Appreciate it. Sent that in. Yeah, it's looking good. Oh, wow. Fire's right up. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so I know I'm standing in a drive-thru and I'm looking at a Walmart, but just enjoy the sky. <clears throat> it's literally gorgeous. Are you kidding me? You cannot beat Nebraska sunsets. So, so pretty.